Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. I am your lecturer, Dr. Naj Sombro, for the quantitative research uh, part of your unit, which is from week five to week eight. Now, before we start off the unit, I thought that it'll be a really good idea to give you a video intro on what are the expectations from the uh, section of uh, quantitative research. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an example. Let's say we have got two students and because of my interest in sports, I'll give you a sporting example of quantitative research. So let's say student A likes Messi in soccer and student B likes uh, Ronaldo. So student A uh, tells uh, to student B that Messi is a better player than Ronaldo just because he has got really good moves, he runs fast and he has um, he gives very good passes and he's, he has got more flair on the field. And student B also gives uh, similar type of arguments and both come to me and they write down a report. Now, based on this, I won't be able to find out who's a better player. So if we need to really find out who's the better player, then uh, we need to have some core facts in which we can compare both players on. So I, I go and tell the students, give me some concrete facts. So student A comes up to me, tells me that Messi has scored 70 goals in the last season. Student B says uh, Ronaldo has scored 60 goals in the last season. However, 50% of his goals were against top teams and most of his goals were scored in high pressure situations. So that gives me a good comparison. Although Messi has scored more goals, Ronaldo has got less goals, but his goals, 50% of his goals were scored in high pressure situations. Then student B tells me that uh, the number of passes per game Ronaldo gives is greater than Messi. Number three, he calculates the, uh, his fastest run. So looking at GPS data and tells me that Ronaldo runs faster than Messi. So then I get some concrete examples of some quantitative research data. And when you compare both of them, then you can come up and say, okay, Ronaldo is a better player than Messi. See, I've just made this up. So uh, maybe Messi is a better player than Ronaldo. But I just wanted to give you this brief example in order for you to understand what is quantitative research. Now, in, in this part of uh, the unit, you'll get a lot of exercises looking at different tests and different numerical values. However, the main role would be to have a, a read at the study provided to you as an example, and then come up with ideas of how you can quantitatively define that study. Uh, we'll have more interactions as we go along uh, this unit. And I'm happy to answer more questions as they come along. Thank you.